So I was watching Play for Cinema's recent video. It was a digital magazine focusing on the growth of Goof Troop. And the last girl he talked about was Peg. And what's interesting uh, about Peg is what he talked about, you know, throughout uh, that portion. The one portion, well, what I'm trying to say is the portion basically being of what exactly happened between her and Pete. Now, some can assume that because we didn't see her in the movie that, you know, as fan theory has come out, she in continuity divorced Pete because, you know, in the show, um, she was sick and tired of his, uh, oh, she was very tolerant and, you know, very patient when it came, oh well, yeah, tolerant and, tolerant and patient, but basically fed up at times of his antics, you know, to make a quick buck and sucker people, you know, out of their, you know, money and stuff like that. She, she was just dumb, with, she was just not a fan of his shady ways. Now, there is a episode where Goof Troop, uh, Goofy, I should say, tells Max a story of his one of his uh, ancestors from back in the twenties, who was a detective, and their enemies were Pete and Peg, or at least their descendants, anyway. Um, long story short, though, with that being the one exception, she was always basically someone that did not, as I said, tolerate. Um, Pete's antics and mostly his mistreatment of of Goofy. So, basically, the fan theory is because we didn't see her in the movie or in the follow up uh, five years later, which was an extremely goofy movie, that she might have divorced Pete and took Pistol with her. Now that might be true. Now what's also interesting is some people have put out a fan theory. That Pistol might be actually Goofy's daughter and not Pete's because, you know, the way she acts at times. But I don't know. I mean, that would mean something happened on the side that, you know, we can't, we can't really fathom if it did or not. But that does bring up to uh, one of the tidbits they, they talked about. And that was, you know, Peg's, um, the way Peg acted towards Goofy at times. Mostly talking about how she would be almost all over him you know in a more in a way that was more akin to being beyond something of a friendship or something like that because they were college mates you know friends in in college uh, along with Pete so you know basically uh jawbreaker here you know brought up the fact that she was you know basically all over him you know, she was basically all over him at times, and we see it. We see it at times uh, in the in the series, like in the first episode, of course. We see it, um, like when you know she's embracing uh, Goofy in a, in a hug. That's like, okay, that's more than just a friendship hug, girl. And you know, just the way she treats him at times, the fact that she kissed him on the lips that one time because he, you know, basically uh, came up with an idea of sprinklers and everything, and. You know, so she can, you know, meet with this highfalutin lady to get a new client. You know, all these examples are out there. And, you know, one one theory was, or one theoretical, theor, one theoretical question that was always asked, or at least according to Jawbreaker here, is if Peg didn't end up with Pete, it's like if Pete wasn't in the picture, would she have ended up with Goofy? And that is a good question. Would she have ended up with Goofy? Hard to say. But you could definitely tell um, that the writers of Goof Troop kind of, well, let, let's be honest, they, they played with the idea that she liked Goofy more than just a friend. She really liked him. Um, but the thing is, the reason they couldn't really cross that line with, with a few exceptions here and there was because of the fact that it was a kid's show. Even though it was a syndicated sitcom, animated sitcom kid's show, 
they couldn't cross that line too many times, except for, like I said, a few times. So she kissed him on the lips, she would hug him, embrace him, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it does bring up that question of, you know, was the plan eventually down the line, was there any plans to maybe reveal you know, maybe reveal that Pig had a crush on Goofy. Like, you know, we, were there plans for like a flashback episode where we'd find out that, you know, she had a thing for Goofy. You know, but, you know, something happened to where he moved away and, you know, she ended up with Pete because, you know, hey, you know, he showed her a side that he normally doesn't show everybody. Who's to say? But you you have to really take take that into consideration. You know, you have to really, you know, think about that. Of whether or not there was plans to, you know, reveal the fact that, you know, Peg, um, you know, had a crush on Goofy. Did she have a crush on Goofy? And even throughout the series, you know, just the way she would act. Did she still maintain that crush, even though she was married? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, another thing that I think is kind of thrown out there at times was, you know, is would she have been? Now, hear me out, because I think people have talked about this and theorized on this. Would she have been the love interest for Goofy in an extremely goofy movie if they didn't create the Sylvia character? Would she have been the love interest? Like I said, would she have been the love interest for for Goofy in an extremely goofy movie? Like I said, if they had not created Sylvia, you know that that is an interesting question to to, to wonder about because you know, yes, Sylvia is a great character for Goofy to be in or to be with in this film as a love interest, but. You know, you have to really think to yourself, or really, not think to yourself, but ask yourself, if it wasn't Sylvia that they had created, would Peg been in that position? Would they have brought Peg back in to be in that position? Like, you know, Goofy goes back to college, and, you know, they go and, you know, and, and, and the scene plays out almost exactly to where they, they go to get a library card, and then Peg you know, looks up and she sees Max and Goofy and it's like, oh my gosh, what are you guys doing here? And Max is like, whoa, uh, it's cool to see you too. Um, you know, um, I've been, you know, and Max explained to her, he, he's, he's attending here, he's living here now, but that his dad's also here because, you know, he, he has to get an education to get a new job, but right now he needs a library card. You know, they could have done that. Or maybe the scene plays out similar to, to what we saw in the movie, to where Max encourages his dad, go to the librarian, you know, she'll probably help you out. And as the librarian's stamping all these books down, you know, kind of like checking them back in, and we see the, the pile go down, all of a sudden that's when we see Peg, you know, underneath it. It's like, you know, Goofy's like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, and then as soon as she's done, she looks up, and then that's when they see each other, that's when they recognize each other. And, you know, you can kind of play have it play out similarly, or if not, a little differently, but would Peg been in that position if it wasn't if they didn't create Sylvia? It makes you curious. It makes you curious about you know potentially not being the the direction they would have gone in. You know, with with Peg had you know like I said they not decided to make an original character. But still, going back to what I said, you know, you have to wonder if. You know, Peg had a crush, a thing, if you will, for Goofy uh, back when they were younger in the college days and still maintained it even after she was married to Pete and Goofy ended up uh, moving back uh, to Spoonerville basically right next door to them. You have to really wonder. Uh, because again, you know, he showed it, in, you know, in the video. Showed in the video and he mentioned it in the tidbits in the information boxes that, you know, there was a lot of hints. There was moments and hints and stuff in the series, maybe even the comics, that kind of uh, showcased that 
maybe there was something there between the two that was more than that you know was more than friendship at least from Peg's point of view but what do you guys think do you think Peg had a crush and still maintained said crush on Goofy back in college and like I said still maintained it after you know you know she was married and you know he moved into her moved in next door to her years later what are your thoughts how do you feel about that do you think that's true and do you think if they wouldn't have created Sylvia you know to be Goofy's love interest in an extremely Goofy movie do you think it would have been Peg in that role what are your thoughts let me know down below in the comments as well as in the live chat on the premiere like the video Super Chat Super Stickers will be available or open, available, and appreciated during the live chat of the premiere. And Super Thanks will be open afterwards.